Hello, my name is Jason Popovich, and today I'd like to talk to you about BMW's iDrive system. iDrive is nothing really to do with driving the vehicle. It is a multifunction screen that uses a controller uh, in the center console to maneuver up and down the wide high definition screen. This is uh, BMW's latest version. It is hard drive based and also includes a 16 gigabyte hard drive for, for music. The first thing I would do when you get your car from Open Road BMW is set up your, your setting functions here. So you can get in the car how you want your door locks to behave. You want one door to unlock, all four doors, things like that. You can tailor your lighting. Perhaps you want to have your triple turn signal activation when you tap the turn signal lightly. Your climate, you can set, set uh, certain time of the day you want your climate to ventilate the vehicle so if you get in the car it's not an oven at a certain time of the day uh, you can go up here you can make your speed setting a certain speed before it chimes in you can tell it to warn you um, tone you can basically go in here and adjust your sound system as well as another sp spot you can get it doing that language and units if you want to make it Fahrenheit or if you're you want to be the Canadian way, you can leave it on these presets for metric and also your time and date and how you want your, your display to, to be brighter or less, uh, less bright here. Just by clicking on, you highlight it and then swivel it right and left and click off it to take off the highlight. Now this is, uh, uses a right left, sort of like turning a page layout. So the iDrive, you go slide back to where you were, it's going back to your left, slide to your right, takes you back in. Now when we're on the main menu, we will just press down the next sub menu that we want to go into. Here we have vehicle status. This is a nice feature because if we slide over to the right, it'll tell us if there's any tire problem. We can reset our pressures here. Your engine oil level, you'll notice is on maximum. If it shows you minimum on the right there, it will be down just one liter, so nothing to worry about. Your service requirements are all displayed here and down on the bottom right, you'll notice when you should be bringing it in, when it's coming due in kilometers as well as time. Engine, engine oil change, minimum once a year with BMW, it's either once a year or uh, about 24,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. Um, so if we go back to the left, we go return back to, also there's under this vehicle info, there's the trip computer. So here you can see your fuel consumption averages, at average speed, things like that, and also gives you your duration of, uh, if you're on a if you plug in an, a navigation address, it'll give you your arrival time, stuff like that. Onboard computer info as well. So we're gonna go back to the main menu, go up to BMW Assist. The next thing here is contact with BMW's call center. If you ever have an emergency, you can go to roadside assistance, start a call right here. It's directly linked with their system. It uh, will connect with them on a separate connection. You can also request, for instance, you know, directions. A nice, nice feature now is by loading in pre, uh, an address through your computer using Google Maps, send it to your email address and that in turn will download your route guidance right into your navigation system. So as soon as you get in the car, it's already loaded in, you just drive away. If I go back to uh, the main menu, go up to contacts, that's where you can check your, your phone book, your navigation, brings up your nice big widescreen map here. Now sometimes people like to have a little more on their screen than just a big map so you can click on split screen content there and maybe put your onboard uh, information there or maybe you want to have your position. You can put your latitude and longitude there. These are all things that uh, you can really tailor the way you like. So we'll put it back on the widescreen, take off split screen. If you want to load in an address, I would go up to route guidance and I would put enter new address, new destination. And I hear it says enter address. I have new market already preloaded. We are in new market, Ontario. And uh, the street name is Mulock Drive. Now you'll notice this brings up right away the closest name that it could be very quickly, um, faster than you can type it. So this is the new hard drive format. It's a very quick computer. 87 is our number. And accept destination, yes. Start guidance, yes. So I'm just tapping them down to acknowledge that. And there's you a... You are currently in an area where turn-by-turn turn guidance cannot be provided. There is a little... The arrow on the display. 
there, there's a little verbal warning because we're in a parking lot. We don't have any guidance in a parking lot, but as soon as we pull out, we, uh, we will. And that also, you can see, I am, li I am showing you right here, I'm moving my controller clockwise, and that's zooming out. If I go counterclockwise, you'll see my scale change there, uh, five kilometers, about 2K. Two kilometer uh, is, uh, is a nice, uh, nice view of where you're going. And here you can actually change the, the views of the map. So right now it's uh, north, south. Some people like to see it on a perspective view. Gives you a little bit more of like a bird's eye view there. So if I go back to the main menu, I can also go to my phone just by pressing down there. You can also dial a number using the keypad. Uh, I like to say the number most of the times if it's not in my phone book. If it's in my phone book, once again, your phone book you go into that and all your contacts are there. You just press on them. The radio is very nice. You just go up to the, this is our presets here. We'll go up to the FM for a moment. And if I go to the top where it says manual, I can zoom in just like the old fashioned rotary dial here. If I like, uh, you know, some dance music, I press on that and I can store this now anywhere in my presets I would like that to go. That's how you store your stations. Now, if I go to the left, you'll see uh, your presets over here. I press on presets, and I can also use my radio uh, control buttons on the steering wheel, which I'm doing right now, to go to those presets that I've just stored. The tone is also found here to adjust your sound. Okay. Now, if I also go to a nice function here, is that, say I'm just in the main, main menu, and I just want to say, using voice control uh, frequency. I don't have to be in the radio to do this. Frequency 107.1. You are listening to 107.1 FM. So now we have our station that we desired, a little more rock music there. Okay, so if I go up to CD Multimedia, this is also now where we have a collection of music. Under Music Collection, that's our, that's our stored music in our hard drive. And we get it in there just by simply putting a USB stick in the side of the glove box that has MP3s already loaded on it. And it just downloads it under music collection. External devices, this is where we have our iPod plugged into the Y cable in the center console. And we can just leave the iPod in the center console. And again, we find the tone to adjust the sound. And CD is, uh, is actually in there playing right now. Well, and there you have it, a quick overview of BMW's iDrive system. I hope this helps give you an understanding of the simplicity of how to actually use it. For more information, please contact me. It's Jason Popovich from Open Road BMW in Newmarket, Ontario. Thank you very much.